question from Jose Alvarez and he was asking about the butterfly sweep to rolling back take um, movement that I used in one of the videos recently. So I'll you know sort of cut that video or that chunk of that video into it. Um, and basically I'm gonna break that, it's two separate moves um, and I'm gonna break it down for you. So um, this is not necessarily like, I guess a combination I'm always gonna do. The thing is, like a lot of times I practice moves and then moves sort of combine themselves just on the fly, right? Because you become very proficient with the techniques and you can combine multiple movements together. So it's not necessarily a combo, this is two separate movements. Um, but again, if you get very good with your movements, you can begin to combine them just whenever they might pop up. So we're here in the position. The first one I'm gonna do is, I call it a ghost sweep. Um, and the reason I call it that is because it doesn't really have really strong, well, seemingly not really strong grips. And if you watch the video, I initially started with a butterfly sweep this way, it didn't work, and I got up, and then I immediately switched into position, okay? So let's look, let's look at that real quick. So most people feel pretty comfortable from like butterfly guard with their hands on the knees, feel pretty good, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically put two hands right on the elbow, right at the bend, right? And what I'm gonna do, one hand's gonna push in, one hand's gonna pull out. And at the same time, I'm gonna scoot my body in. Notice that I'm kind of using my foot to pull in and roll to my side. And so this doesn't really set off any alarms to the person because I'm just here, he seems all right. Most people in this position kind of have a forward posture anyway because they're probably gonna get ready to try to go to the side to pass. And that's kind of one of the good things too is if try, Chad tries to do like a basic double knee push pass, I can push this knee and stay with him. So it's a good defensive hand grip as well. So from here, I'm in the position, I'm gonna take my hand or my foot and stick it back. And I typically put my foot right on the outside of the knee here. This allows me to pull in at an angle. So I'm gonna go be go from being flat on my butt to scooting in to the side of my hip. I push in, pull, and then come up. Now, in the video, um, when I was rolling with Adam, here's what happened. I was coming up and he shot into a deep half position. I felt it and instead of like letting him go all the way like under because he would wanna be here, Right? Instead of doing that, I kept my knee tight, pinching my knee to his, his butt, his back. And then this puts me in kind of like a quarter mount position. And then that rolling back takes super simple. All it is basically is gonna be a front roll and I'm gonna hike my heel up to catch his top leg. Roll through, get control of the person's hip here, hip out, turn, and then come around to the back here. And again, I try to go for the choke as soon as I'm coming around before I get here. Because again, if I get right into the position, then they can start defending. So as soon as I come around, as soon as I bring this hand in, I'm immediately going for the choke. Let's take a look at it again, guys. So we got the ghost sweep with that basic roll from the quarter mount. So again, we'll look at it from a different position. So here, um, I'm in, I went to one side, didn't work, and I came up to a square position and immediately put my hands in, shot my foot up under, rolled, and again, notice where to go, kick up, as we come up, he rolls to, to deep half. I immediately pinch my knee so I, he doesn't get all the way under me here because then that would be a different position altogether. So I stay tight down here, keeping my hips close to his hips. From here, post your hand and your foot on the same side. You can also do the one where you lock, but this one usually does just fine, especially in a quick movement. From here, roll through, okay? Don't roll away. Try to like basically hug your partner's, or your opponent's uh, body. Once we get the person hyped up, you can use this foot for assistance, and I like to get a hold of the hip here on this other side. From here, I'm gonna scoot out. Again, sometimes I'll roll right over, but a lot of times you'll get a little bit of resistance, and then instead of trying to kick, you scoot away from them, scoot around, and then as soon as we can kind of see the person's head, immediately start to come in, and like I said, you can go for the choke, or just go for your regular back mount. We'll do it one time with smooth motion. So and that's the position guys. So again, that's not a combination I'd normally try to piece together. Basically it was like I went from my ghost sweep and somehow ended up in the quarter mount. And because I was in that quarter mount, I was like, okay, I can do the roll. So um, anyway, Jose, thanks for the question, brother. Hope that helps. Talk to you guys next time. Mm -hmm.